Warning, the video is tough to watch. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Police want you to take a close look at this man wanted for stalking, beating, then robbing a mother and her son. Well, they were leaving a corner store market at the time. Eyewitness News reporter Marcella Bayeto is live at police headquarters with more on this disturbing video, this disturbing crime, and the search for this suspect. Good evening. Good evening, Natasha. Philadelphia police say a 54 year old mother and her 21 year old son were beaten in South Philly on November 7th. Now, police are hoping by releasing this video that we're about to see that it could lead to finding out who did this. On most days, the Point Breeze neighborhood is filled with families walking around the De Sylvester playground. But nearly two weeks ago, on the night of November 7th, a brutal beating and robbery hit what neighbors call their close knit community. Now it's getting kind of scary because it's getting close to home. In this video released by Philadelphia police, a man they call a stalker is seen first searching for the mother and her son inside of Morris Market on the corner of 15th and Morris Streets at around 8 30 p.m. The attacker puts on a mask and follows. Them outside. The man starts punching the first victim, disorienting them, and knocks the second victim unconscious. He then steals their valuables and takes off. The dangerous situation comes as a shock to some neighbors. It kind of caught me off guard when I heard about it because you stuff like that you don't really hear about or see. It's like I said, it's, it's mainly quiet over here. I think it's crazy and messed up, and it shouldn't be happening, especially like. Because I feel like in this neighborhood, like everyone knows everyone. Police say the suspect was wearing an Amiri shirt with a skeleton and roses on it. Residents like Dolores Patone say this incident could change the way she gets to work. So I always walk and might start taking the bus now and carry like mace <laughs> to be safe. Others are calling on law enforcement to do more. I guess just up to law enforcement, basically. That's, that's about it. Now, if anyone is out there and knows anything about the suspect or the incident itself, police are asking that you come forward with the information immediately. Live outside of police headquarters, I'm Marcella Bayetto, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Marcella, thank you for that.